What's up guys, I'm Dr. Chris Park, and I wanna to talk today about five practical tips to help you deal with your anxiety. Now notice I didn't say take it away, you know, or cure it or anything crazy like that. We're just dealing with the problem of anxiety. The first thing I want you to think about is this, and I've said this before, right? I'm gonna say it again. You gotta to talk to yourself. When you start feeling anxious, you need to redirect your mind because anxiety is yourself talking to yourself already, telling yourself certain things, certain things to believe about the future or whatever that's usually not true. And so you just have to stop and remind yourself that it's going to be okay. You're going to get through it. And uh, it's like you have to practice this positive way of thinking and redirecting your thoughts. Now, obviously, it doesn't help with every situation, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. I want you to start, like, if you get really freaked out, start counting down backwards from 100 by sevens, okay? This will take concentration, unless you're a math genius. Um, this will help um, just kind of break that pattern of that severe anxiety when you get caught up in it. Count backwards from 100 by sevens. Um, you know, just some come up with some different routines that you can do to talk to yourself when you get into this pattern and it's gonna help. Your Zen self can thank me later. Now the next thing I want you to do is I, I want you to think about anxiety like a dial, not a light switch on and off, but a dial that you can turn down. I want you to start visualizing yourself turning down the dial, okay? And, and as you turn down the dial, you get calmer, you get peace, tranquility, the things that you want, okay? You just turn down the dial and you'll start to feel better. Um, now, another thing is look at your diet, okay? And it might be, and I'm going to sound like a hypocrite on this one, but it might be you're drinking too much caffeine. Caffeine um, could possibly be stimulating like your cortisol and you're in this almost constant fight or flight mode metabolically already. So be careful with that. Be careful. Now, I drink coffee all day, but I also don't have a lot of anxiety issues anyway. But I'm just saying that you could be um, causing problems. So maybe start drinking more water. Um, start looking at your diet as a way to fuel um, your brain and your heart so that you can have good, positive chemicals, uh, lots of good serotonin and dopamine and norepinephrine circulating around, okay? Lots of good, get outside, get some vitamin D. You know, all these things will help. Again, not a cure, but it will help. All right, the next thing I want you to do is just stop trying to be perfect. Um, now, if you look, I do these videos. I'm not a public speaker. Uh, I just kind of uh, turn the camera on and start talking, right? Uh, I'm not trying to be perfect. When I write my blog, I don't even follow, you know, approved uh, English <laughs> or whatever, you know. Uh, I don't I don't follow the rules, the writing rules. I don't follow them. I just do my own thing. It doesn't matter. Stop trying to be so perfect. Let yourself make some mistakes. Learn from them and move on. It's not the end of the world. Remember, you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world, okay? Man, if you can get that through your mind, you can overcome so much, okay? So the next thing I want you to do is run like your life depends on it because it does. Now, what that means is get outside and get to exercising. Go running. If you hate running, like I hate running, but I sometimes do it anyway because you need to, uh, find something you enjoy. You know, uh, go and 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 bust through your fear and join that uh, that gym, okay? Uh, get to lifting weights. Uh, do some kickboxing. Man, if everybody would just do, go do some kickboxing uh, or jujitsu or something like that, you could really free yourself of some of this anxiety. Um, learning to build off of your weaknesses and um, noticing the improvement in your life. And um, it could just go... Um, it could just take you places that you'd never dreamed of, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to give you a bonus. Those are, your, those are my five practical tips, but this is a bonus. You need to bring some positivity in your life, and that might mean you need to get out off of Facebook. It might mean you need to um, stop watching the news. 
it might mean you need to stop your Twitter uh, uh, rants or whatever. It, it might mean that you need something to redirect your life in a positive manner. Because it's so easy to divide ourselves up into the things we disagree with. It's so easy to be against something. It's not that easy to be for something. So start looking at your life at what you're for. What do you support? As opposed to so much of what you're against. Um, you know, read something positive. I mean, I, look, it doesn't have to be this book, okay? You can take any book and throw it in the garbage. But if you want this book and throw it in the garbage, go for it, okay? Just bring some positivity into your life and see what happens. That's it, guys. Five practical tips with a bonus, which I guess makes six practical tips. Okay. All right, guys. Hope this was helpful. Peace.